Hello guys, this is Joe from JC Design and welcome to today's tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make a lightsaber in Photoshop. Sit back, relax and buckle up, motherfucker. Whoa, 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 that's not the right intro. Play the right intro. Alright guys, so what you need to do is you need to open up your reference image that is in the description box below. Uh, so we'll open this up and you should have an image like this. It's very low resolution but for the purposes of the tutorial I think it'll work fine. Um, so the f next thing we need to do is we need to make a oblong, Just oblong, oblong, oblong. with the rectangle tool or a rectangle whatever um, so then we'll make this rectangle and you want to change the color to white this will just help you uh, in a few moments and then what we need to do is we need to select the rectangle pull it down to the lightsaber and then hit ctrl T rotate that so it's kind of on the same uh, angle as the lightsaber uh, okay so we'll pull this out um, this effect will work uh, exactly the same on if you're not using this image, it'll, u it'll work fine. All you need to do is just put the rectangle over the um, the kind of sword or you know the weapon that you're trying to turn into a lightsaber. Um, so then we'll just turn this and pull this out a little bit, make it a bit thicker, and then we'll just take this down. So it's on kind of the right angle, um, I think. Uh, just kind of eyeball it, it doesn't need to be uh, too exact. So once you're kind of happy with the, the orientation of your lightsaber, just hit enter. And then this operation will turn the live object, yep, yeah, whatever. Um, so then, once you've done that, then you need to double click on the layer. And then you get up your layer styles, and then you want to go down to outer glow. And then click on the outer glow tab. And then you want to turn the blend mode to normal and then take the opacity up go to your uh, color and then traditionally Luke Skywalker's uh, lightsaber is blue I think um, uh, what type of blues it's kind of like that sort of blue and you can see that uh, we've kind of got an outer glow on the edge but what we need to do is we need, we need to make it bit bigger now that's starting to look more and more like a lightsaber and if it's kind of looking a bit um, transparent just take the opacity all the way up to 100% now it's looking really cool um, make sure that you have your technique on to uh, soft in the elements section and then what we need to kind of make it look like it's cylindrical so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add an uh, and inner glow as well so we'll go up to inner glow click inner glow and then just repeat the same process that we did for the outer glow so we'll go on that we'll go on the inner glow tab we'll go up to normal and then we'll just bump the opacity up to i would say probably around about 80 percent just see what that looks like we'll eyeball it and then we'll make it sort of similar blue and click that and then we'll just bring the size up that looks pretty cool that looks really really cool okay cool now the next thing we need to do is we need to um, kind of get rid of the bottom bit here to make it to make the effect work so what we'll do is we'll add mask and then we'll hit the B we'll hit B for brush and then make sure that the color here is uh, black and then we'll just make our brush a bit bigger by right clicking on the image and then we'll just bring our brush up to about 100 pixels and then make sure that it is a um, uh, kind of a soft edge brush and then just brush away until what I usually do is I just brush past the object and then I'll change it change the colors orientation so I've changed it to white now so it'll now add rather than subtract and then just bring it down slowly now you want to have some a little bit of fall off over the top of the uh, over the top of the lightsaber uh, just to make it look more realistic and like uh, it looks like it's glowing um, and that's pretty much it guys uh, it's as simple as that I hope you enjoyed the tutorial it's just a quick one today 
Um, I really hope it helps you. If it did, leave a comment. Um, if you like my videos, uh, like it and subscribe if you want to. Uh, thanks very much. See you later, guys. Goodbye.